Hello, this is Elena Strongbow from SodaTutorials.com. Elena is my in-game name. And today I want to talk about actually uh, housing and property access controls. So I'm here at my uh, townhome. And this is my town keep, which you can see in one of the videos. And I'm going to look at the actual um, the mark here. You may have a sign or a, a stone here. That's your, your lot or property stone. And under the residence list, you can actually click on uh, what type of residence. You can click on the geared icon and go to manage lot access. So this screen here has a couple different things. First thing, if you're in a guild, if you're in a guild, you can mark this as a guild chapter house. And what it does is it makes anybody who else is in that guild kindred. Um, so they will be, you know, as far as uh, they will basically not be a guest, they'll be one step above it. Guild officers will be trustees in the house, and um, the permissions list will provide any guild permissions. So, um, as a trustee, you're able to manage the permissions for all the levels below them. So, um, we have some. Let me bring up the. Uh, I can get this up here. I just want to get this up. I'll show you my guild chapter. Hopefully, I got a couple of people on that are officers. Good. So I'm going to go back here and manage a lot of access. So if I mark this as a guild chapter house, anybody who's in this list is a member. So they become a kindred person in the house. They have basic basic rights. They can come into the house if it was locked and whatnot. A couple of people like Titania, who's our governor here, or Rudyard, and Infernal, and that's me there, are officers. So myself, I'm an owner, but the other ones would actually be trustees in the house. That means they could actually add and, and manage people at the kindred level. They can grant access for other people. Once again, nothing too big. It just controls who can get into the house. There's nothing really there. Um, I'm going to take and add in here. You can type in someone's name. Hannah Strongbow is actually my daughter's account. It's my alt character, and she uses this one. So I'm going to go ahead and add her in. By default, she comes in as a guest. She's also a member of Lunar Dragon, so she's going to be kindred no matter what. But I can actually raise permissions. So I can say Hannah here is going to be kindred, or a trustee, or co-owner. So co-owners is where it really breaks apart there. So co-owners really do have access to your house and moving things around and doing stuff. Um, you want to be careful who you give co-ownership to. Now this is my daughter and my account, so that's okay. But um, you know, if I was going to give someone else co-ownership, I'd have to really trust them and make sure because basically they could make off with a lot of the stuff. Titania, I'm really good friends with, so I have no problem in making her a, um, a co-owner in the house. In fact, she's a co-owner in one of my other houses on there. So um, this is great. This could control the different levels. So you have the owner, which is me, your co-owners, which is the sub-owners. The only thing they can't do is like take down the entire house or rechange the house. Um, then you have your trust, your trustees, your kindred people, and your guest access on there. So where this really comes into effect is pretty much on permissions, item permissions. So I'm going to close this and close this out. I'm going to go inside here and show you some of the item permissions. So I can put item permissions like on this, on this item right here. Right now, if it's just item permissions, who can pick it up and take it away? So anything that doesn't have anything else finer or details, I leave as a co-owner. These are my things. I don't want these things to go away. It's so like this. Uh, I can't get that on here. There's no permissions on that one. Um, let's go look at this chest. So I'm going to take a look at this chest. And it's got definitely a lot more detail. So you have item permission. Those are the people that can literally take this item, take it, walk off with it, do whatever else. Um, you can make an item private. So if it was something I wanted to hide away from my daughter, from myself, I could make it private, only I could get in there. The next one is container, remove or modify the contents. So this is who can put stuff in and um, you know who could basically change the content there or remove stuff out. Um, they can't add stuff to it, but they can actually, if, they, if I put in 10 torches, they can take five torches out. Container add is who can add stuff into there. So right now, if you look at the permissions, um, it's own, it's set to co-owner, so it's only my daughter and I could do something. Um, the container remove or modify is co-owner, it's just me and my daughter, and it's my um, once again just for who could add stuff in there, just that. There is a view log, so you can see who's done stuff. You can see it at certain levels. You see I've deposited some stuff in here. It has a date and a time, um, has a whole host of things that are going on in there. 
I'm going to go find another chest in here and give you an example how we can make this, uh, make it kind of a guild chest. I think I have one of these as a guild chest. Or it was going to be. Let's see what I got there. It's just a wooden storage. Wooden storage. Wooden storage. Okay, they're all wooden storage. So let's do this. I'm going to move this into my uh, my backpack here. And I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to rename it. I'm going to call it Lunar Dragon's Chest. Submit. Now it's called the Lunar Dragon's Chest. So here it is. If I mouse over, it says Lunar Dragon's Chest. So let's get this rotated around so it looks kind of cool. So now, let's say I want to make this so the guild can use it as a kind of an exchange. I'm going to keep the Christian the co-owner, so I want it locked out. I don't want it to go away. So I'm going to allow who could remove and modify contents to Kindred. And I'm going to change the container add items to Kindred. So now what I've got is only I can place it once it's there, it's there. But anybody who's kindred, basically in the guild or higher, can add can add items or move or modify the content. So this has effectively become kind of a community chest that's out there. And I can go place this in the, I can go take it and place it in the entryway of the house and make it part of, part of the guild on here. Let's take that. I gotta get closer. Get into the. Uh... So there it is. So I could tell the guild, hey, there's a chest here, and we could put stuff in it, and people can do it as a kind of a, a sharing chest or, or whatnot. Um, if people are trying to give me stuff, I could also give it so they could make it so they could add stuff to it, but they could modify. So I could make it a one-way drop box. Just as simple as going in here and doing this. Saying, let's see, uh, container, remove, modify is co-owner, but adding is kindred. So now it's purely a drop box. So only the, um, any, anybody in the guild can put stuff in but only the co-owners can take stuff out or move the chest. So now it's kind of a drop box if someone wants to give me something and they can throw it in there. It's safe, it's secure, and only I can get at it. So that's how the permissions work. The other one I want to pull up is property manager. No, that's not the one. Item permissions. These are your defaults. So when I drop the chest down, it's going to take on certain defaults. So um, when moving or placing items, so either I move it or I place something down, it's going to be not private, and it sets all the defaults to co-owner. That way I ensure that anything I put down, even just quickly, and I forget to go in there and verify it, it's all set to co-owner. So it's all for me. So basically it's really strong permissions, and then I can weaken and loosen it up as needed, as I did with this. So we can see here... You want to see how that works. You can see that we've modified it, so it's just the uh, the um, add is only in Kindred. If I was to take this chest and put it back in my thing, and put it back, notice that the permissions have all changed. It's the way I have my defaults set up. So my defaults basically say when moving or placing items. So if I move it or place it, it'll just, um, it'll just reset and put the permissions down. If I just wanted to have one place in new items I could change that in there. So I can come back and let's make it the uh, let's do the um, back to kindred here. So now I've got it. I own it. Only I can move the chest. Only co-owner, Hannah, or I can do the removal or modifying the contents. But anybody at the guild level or kindred can actually deposit things in. So now it's a drop box again. So that's how the permissions work. Um, if you're sharing something, especially in your guild, and you've got friends you want to give access, make sure you understand this very clearly. Because the, the last thing we want to do is be in a situation where you you're losing something that you that you know was of value. Um, the only safe, 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 safe place is in your bank. But if you do have stuff in the house, you want to make sure you protect it. 
also you want to you want to do it because sometimes you just mess things up maybe you take something out and you forgot you did and then you go back to go to look for it and go where to go and all of a sudden you're a tussle with you know your guildmates going who took this and you know the reality is no one took anything so it's just something that just helps be protective with itself um so yeah so you can control who has access to your property from here on the on the actual on your sign or your um, your lot stone and then you can control the permissions on the different items as you as you get involved with it um like here uh, i can't that one's not there um, you can do it on planting beds, you can do it on chests and stuff, um, or items you set down, anything that's basically a storage thing. So that's it. Uh, if you got questions, leave um, feedback in the comments. Thumbs up, thumbs down if you like it. Subscribe would be great. Um, once again, is uh, this is uh, Elena Strombo from SodaTutorials.com. Thank you and have a good one.